31 Clumber Spaniel Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Recognized as one of the oldest spaniel breeds, Clumber Spaniels also hold the distinction of being among the heaviest. Males typically reach a height of 18 to 20 inches and weigh between 70 and 85 pounds, whereas females measure 17 to 19 inches and weigh 55 to 70 pounds. Number 2. These dogs are easily identified by their distinctive, long, low-hanging ears. These ears are generously covered in dense, straight hair and have a broad top with thick ear leather. They're triangular in shape, featuring a rounded lower edge and are set low on the skull at around eye level. Number 3. This breed is famous for its calm and thoughtful expression, often described as having a ponderous expression. Their eyes in a dark amber or orange color give off a gentle and intelligent vibe. These eyes are large with a soft expression set deep and may have a unique shape, either diamond or featuring a V at the bottom with a curved top. Number 4. The tail of this dog is nicely feathered, starting just below the back, which you gotta keep tidy with minimal trimming for a neat look. It should be straight or slightly up, never drooping between the back legs. If you decide to shorten it, make sure it fits the dog's size. Number 5. These dogs have a dense, straight, and flat coat that's really soft to the touch. Their ears have a bit of feathery hair and they have some fluffy hair on their legs and belly. Their neck has a nice frill and it's a no-go to shave their throat. Number 6. The Clumber Dog is mostly white, but can have lemon or orange markings, especially on their ears and face. Check for color around the eyes, freckles on the muzzle, and a spot on the head. Whether it's a head with lemon or orange markings, or if it's an all-white head, both are considered equally valuable. Number 7. With its substantial bones and muscular build, the Clumber displays a characteristic rolling gait that is smooth and potent. Their short legs and wide body contribute to a slight rolling motion while maintaining a straight line in their movement. Number 8. According to Stanley Korn's insights on dog intelligence, Clumber Spaniels are considered above average, ranking 37th out of 79 dog breed groups in obedience intelligence. Teaching them new commands demands patience, with 15 to 25 repetitions usually needed. Common commands are mastered correctly about 70% of the time on the first attempt. Number 9. Intelligence is not lacking in clumbers, but they can be a handful due to their stubborn nature. If you're looking to have one of these guys as a pet, patience is the key, and you need to consistently demonstrate that your words have meaning. Number 10. Don't count on a clumber spaniel to guard your home because they don't pay much attention to strangers, and usually they don't bark when someone enters. They're pretty easy going in any home, but be ready for some drool and shedding. Number 11. Due to their hunting nature, these dogs have a high prey drive, and they tend to chase after small animals like birds, squirrels, and cats. It's better to avoid having them in homes with small animals. Number 12. Clumber Spaniels have a charming habit of carrying around their favorite items, such as shoes or stuffed animals, throughout the house. It's a display of pride that adds a touch of joy to their day. Number 13. On average, Clumber Spaniels live about 10 to 12 years. It's important to note that individual dogs may have different lifespans impacted by factors such as genetics, diet, exercise, veterinary care, and overall health. Number 14. As they are bigger than some other spaniels, they take more time to become fully mature. Usually, the growth and development continue until they're around 2 to 3 years old. During this time, they might exhibit puppy-like behavior and won't display all their adult traits until they're fully matured. Number 15. While clumbers are generally robust, like all breeds, they can be prone to specific health conditions. Entropian and ectropian eye issues, hip dysplasia, and ear infections are some of the most common health concerns in this breed. Number 16. Due to their large bone structure and rapid growth, clumber spaniels may experience temporary lameness between 6 and 12 months of age. This lameness usually resolves when their bones finish growing. Number 17. Impacted anal sacs are a common issue for this breed, and a vet may need to empty them. These sacs, found on both sides of the anus, produce a substance that is released through a small opening. Number 18. Clumber spaniels sometimes have problems with the discs in their spine. If these discs swell up or burst, your dog could feel pain and have difficulty walking. An MRI can find out if this is happening. Treatments like therapy or surgery can fix it. Number 19. Clumber Spaniels exhibit a sensitivity to heat, making it imperative to ensure they have access to shade. Without proper shelter from the sun, these dogs may experience discomfort and dehydration. Number 20. The process of conception and birthing can be problematic for Clumber Spaniels, often resulting in the need for cesarean sections. It's also noteworthy that some dogs of this breed may exhibit sensitivity to anesthesia.
Number 21. The origin of the Clumber Spaniel is uncertain, and although there's a theory connecting it to France and the French Revolution, there's no evidence to support this claim. The true beginnings of this breed remain unknown. Number 22. Despite the charming story of the French Duc de Noyer and his Spaniels during the French Revolution, evidence from history indicates that the Clumber Spaniel's origins are more closely linked to the Duke of Newcastle's estate, Clumber Park, in Nottingham. In 1788, artist Francis Wheatley painted The Return from Shooting, showing the Duke of Newcastle and his hunting group with Clumber Spaniels. Number 23. It's believed that the Clumber Spaniel was created by crossing Basset Hounds with early Alpine Spaniels, which no longer exist. This combination of traits is the reason behind the Clumber's unique look with a low, long body and a substantial head. Number 24. William Mansell, the Duke's gamekeeper, is recognized for molding the Clumber Spaniel breed. His efforts in choosing and breeding dogs played a key role in creating the unique traits that define the breed today. Number 25. The Duke of Newcastle and his neighbors weren't the only ones loving Clumber Spaniels. These dogs were a hit with the British upper class and royalty in the 1800s, with Prince Albert and King Edward VII being big fans as well. Number 26. The first Clumber Spaniel reached North America in 1844 when Lieutenant Venables, a British officer stationed in Nova Scotia, Canada, imported one of these guys. This event marked the beginning of the breed's presence in North America. Number 27. As per the classification of the UK Kennel Club, the Clumber Spaniel stands as a vulnerable native breed, and the annual registration of new dogs for this breed in the UK falls below 300. Number 28. The American Kennel Club officially recognized the Clumber Spaniel in 1878. Despite their historical popularity, Clumbers are considered a rare breed, ranking 139th among the 199 breeds and varieties recognized by the AKC. Number 29. Although the first AKC registration occurred in 1878, it wasn't until 1972 that the Clumber Spaniel Club of America was founded. This highlights a relatively late formalization of the breed community in the United States, further emphasizing the breed's uniqueness and limited presence in comparison to more common breeds. Number 30. The cost of a Clumber Spaniel can differ depending on factors like the breeder's reputation, the dog's pedigree, health, and whether it's sold as a pet or for breeding show purposes. Typically, you might pay around $500 to $1,500 or more for a Clumber Spaniel from a good breeder. Number 31. Even though they are not as popular as they were in Victorian times, Clumber Spaniels still have their celebrity fans. TV chef James Martin, in particular, has owned a Clumber Spaniel named Fudge. Alright guys, now which of these Clumber facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.